Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a little speed painting video of my pastel of three gorgeous dachshunds. I'll give you a quick overview here, but if you'd like to see a full hour long tutorial on how to build up these smooth coats, then check out my new Patreon channel. Every month I'm going to make an hour long tutorial and there'll be lots of other bonuses over there for my patrons too. As always with my work though, I work from background to foreground and quite often I want to give a slight out of focus look in the background. So everything outside the window is being painted with big loose marks all nicely blended together to give that out of focus look. At the minute I'm filming pretty much everything I do and I'm documenting the palette I used and compiling a big list of tutorials to make. I've had lots of requests already and I'll be tackling those in my coming videos but if you have any other suggestions leave me a comment below I'd love to hear from you. This is the point where the full length Patreon tutorial starts so from here I would show you how to build up the depth and the contrast in their coats. I'll use this first dog and the dog to her right to demo these two coat colours. I'll show you how to build up the layers and eventually get that very fine detail. We'll also cover how to create a really 3D look with your use of colour. The materials I'm using are velour pastel paper. I mount this on self-adhesive foam board. You can see a video on that. Unison pastels, Faber-Castell black pastel sticks and some Faber-Castell pit pastel pencils. Bear in mind, this is just the speed painting video. If you become a patron over on my Patreon channel, for as little as $4 a month, you'll get to see the full tutorial with real-time footage, um, I'll be explaining my techniques as we go, and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing to create these effects. Although I use soft pastel and I love to use the big, colourful, soft sticks, You'll see I do a lot of tweaking with the pastel pencils. It really depends on the subject matter. With smooth coats like this, the pencils do come in handy for refining all the detail. But I'd like to show you that it's not necessary to paint every single hair. Quite often, a lot of the effect is loosely implied and the areas of really high detail will bring the important parts of the painting all into focus. This was quite a long piece to work on, so even in speed painting, it's still quite a long length. So I'm going to shut up and let you sit back and enjoy the rest of the progression.
So we are close to the end now. Over 50 hours of footage compressed here, but remember to check out my Patreon channel for the full tutorial. While you're here on YouTube, do me a favour and subscribe and like this video. I've got lots of new content coming very soon and I hope to catch up with some of you over on my Patreon. Thanks for watching.